I'm Greg. I'm the head engineer here at uh, Church for All Nations and also uh, systems consultant with CCI. Uh, I'm here to show you uh, this cool little invention here. I know you have to get in here close and uh, see what this is because we have the uh, Yamaha M7CL here. And this little device, I'm going to go online here and connect to it. This is a remote control on the iPad for the Yamaha M7. Now it does take a minute to connect and I'm connecting and it's taking its time and it's talking back and forth and you'll see all the little dials will here catch up here in a moment. Once we hit connect it uh, started sequencing with M7CL and you see I have EQ curves already in there. I have my channels set up here uh, on the console and they correlate with the console and it'll populate each of the channels as it gets connected and talking as I go to each of the sections. And this is where connection, it takes a little bit to get everything all finalized. But once it's finalized, then it all works really, really well. There's my first set of faders. So let's go to my monitor one. Uh, this is my monitor one. And if I hit monitors, here's all my setup for monitor one, monitor two. And that's my setup for monitor two, three, four, and each of all the thing, all, everything I have set up in here for um, my all my auxiliaries or um, um, sends on fader and my matrix, so I can control each of those. So here's my monitor one. I've got kick and snare, and most of the things I work on my monitors are over here in. Um, my my channels here and I gotta wait for this to populate here. So you can start seeing it populate here. It catches channels up and says, oh this is where we are and it names the channels. So it's naming the channels and it's catching up with, with all the information that's there. And if I go to my console, here's my monitor one send, here's the channels I'm actually looking at. So it's gonna once it finishes here it'll catch all the faders up to exactly what my monitors are here. If I move my fader here, in real time, I'm actually moving the fader on the console. And this is, I'm on my, my this is my shortcut to my monitors, different monitor sense. So as I'm changing faders, I can actually move multiple faders at the same time, in real time. Now I get a little closer here. There you go. You can actually see them moving in real time. So that's the cool part. So when I'm up on stage, I can make adju monitor adjustments to, a console. Isn't that cool? That's awesome. I love this.